station. We'll just give it a wait, essentially. So the start. A long, lonely course ahead for any single sculler. And this should be a heavyweight matchup. Yeah, you know, you've got the top woman in the world in the single skull, Jimmy from Switzerland. And it's going to be really interesting to see how she takes this one out, where she goes from the start and just dominates the race, or she sits beside her opponent and just gradually eats away at her. So Jamila there, setting the early pace. Jamenko only half a length down, but she'll know this is going to be a really stern test of what she's about. This will be as tough a race as she's had in her life. Yeah, and, and the good thing is, like, this is what makes Henley so special. You get to, you know, even though they're both internationals, if you weren't international, you, you know, you've got enough points and you can enter this event. You get to race the best in the world. And there's no other event that you can do that on the actual domestic calendar. But you want to kind of see where you are and know where you need to get to. So this is a great chance to really kind of measure yourself against the best in the world. Jamenko, 28 years old now. finalists generally in World Cup regattas. And I gather there comes a point when if you've been in B finals you're like actually I'm done doing the crew stuff I want to be in a single now and just see what I can do. And it's one way of really testing yourself as well as being the single. You really find out about yourself about more about racing. The stuff you can learn by just one year as a single skull is massive that you can take into crew boats. So she sculled in the Ukrainian quad at the 2017 World Championships. Eight and has now made the move as a single sculler, which is why we see her out on the water here at Henny Jamenko, who's a little bit down, a couple of lengths down on Jamelan, who was really impressive yesterday as well. Yeah, she, she, as we mentioned, she's a class act in this event right now. Obviously, she's racing here today at Henny Rory Gatta, and then obviously next weekend is a big race in Lucerne, which is a home water, which I'm sure. The Swiss fans will be looking forward to seeing a race on home water as well. So the current world champion leads the way. And because these races take longer, because obviously they're in a single, uh, and because they're on their own, is it going to take more out of the athletes? Are they going to be in danger of fatigue to a greater extent than other boats come tomorrow in the finals? Well, it's a lot less forgiving. You know, if you're yeah. a crew boat, you know, you can bounce back with your kind of crew friends you know, they can take some of the weight I guess but um, you think about the mileage that athletes do she, you know she knows her body so well in this particular event you need to not just a body a mind having that in the right place as well confidence she's got because she's unbeaten so this is just another stepping stone I'm sure to her kind of road to Tokyo and one of these two will be racing against either Vicky Thornley or Madeleine Edmonds. Those two meet in less than an hour's time now. Yeah, which, you know, Vicky, silver medalist from last year, you know, really kind of moved on throughout the season last year. She hasn't had much fortune with medals at the World Cups, but is this the turning point of her season on home water? Good place to do it. We'll find out in an hour. That would be Vicky Thornley. First of all, Jamelan leading the way. It's not a foregone conclusion, though. Chemenko, to her credit, is staying in the race. And it is so lonely in the single going down the Henley track. It is very lonely. Not just because it's longer. Um, you're kind of on your own. There's, you know, if you're beating your opponent, and it, I was just a struggle when I was beating someone with clear water. I was like, can this just be over now? Do I really have to go to the end of the track? <laughs> you know? Worrying about your entertainment level for the crowd, really. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. A little wave as you go past. Glance over the shoulder from Jamenko. Checking on Jamelan's whereabouts. And just for, for young athletes watching, you know, you've got the, the best female skull in the world. Just watch her technique. Just you know, you're looking for people to emulate that you want to move like. So what are you looking for specifically in this Placement technique? Placement in the water. Where she leaves as it passes, using a hit as it opens up. Because she's not the biggest athlete, so she has to maximise everything she's got. And it's quite challenging out there as well with the kind of bouncy conditions. The hands move freely. 
Yeah, so height 170 centimetres. According to the official stats, 69 kilos. So yeah, and people always heaviest. assume that you have to be huge to be doing a single skull, really tall, long levers. Vicky Thornley, very tall. Yeah, Vicky Thornley has all those attributes. This is a very different athlete that's leading this particular race. But compact, strong, moving well, efficiently. Not too far away from the finish line now. Getting busy already in the heat of Henley. Semi-finals day on the Saturday. Always attracts huge crowds. And that's the beauty of the Regatta. You've got everything you can do on the side. You can dress up smart and come into stewards. You can take your picnic up the bank to watch the race in. Hang out with friends, what's river traffic. And there's so much going on. It is a festival of Rome. So Jamelan, Rude Klabusta of Switzerland in the red and white, you can see leading the way in this Princess Royal Challenge Cup semi-final against Diana Chimko. serene and calm from her yeah you know it's it's always a tough one you know you're the best at what you do in the world you have to go out and you have to get through the rounds you're trying to be you can't kind of take things for granted but you're, you're just trying to keep thinking you know efficiently processing making sure nothing goes wrong trying to get from a to b as quickly as possible but not expending any energy because obviously the big race is going to come tomorrow which is racing in the final either Thornley or Edmonds. And it's her first time to Henley as well, so, you know, the experience of being at Henley, you know, wanting to see everything as well. Because it is so unique, you know, being in that boat, the boat tents with athletes from all over the world, youngsters want to chat to their kind of heroes. Well, you talked about her technique earlier on that shot from the drone just now, like she could do that all day, didn't it? Yeah, Efforts. and that's the thing, it's got to be kind of something that becomes a habit. The beauty of our sport, you know, I always tell people, is a repetitive motion. And that's why it doesn't matter what age you start the sport. If you're athletic and you like training, you understand how to push yourself, and you like being part of a team, you know, it's a repetitive motion. It's very, I want to say simple, because it's a very difficult movement to perfect. But you are doing the same thing again and again. It's not like you have to change direction and go to your left or go to your right. Turn around or something like that. So no shocks, no surprises in the Princess Royal Challenge Cup. Melon beating the Ukrainian comfortably. Good control throughout the race. Exhibition stuff, really. Yeah, it's kind of what we expected, to be honest. Yeah. She's the best in the world. Still unbeaten. And moving very well. Whoever's up against her in the final tomorrow will have their work cut out. She is not slow. That's for certain. So Jamela will be in the final tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Look how clean she was off the blocks there, you know, maximising everything she has, being dynamic. Great shot there from yeah. overhead. 